After a long delay, in 2021, Godzilla vs. Kong was released simultaneously in theaters and streaming, and ushered in a new era of hope for moviegoers and a new wave of collectibles for Godzilla collectors. But for the first time, a high-end statue company called Prime One Studio obtained the rights to produce a series of busts, dioramas, and statues in varying scales and materials. Prime One is known for their attention to detail, screen accuracy, and for their creative team's overall passion for the properties they render into reality for collectors around the world. I own the gigantic Godzilla vs. Kong Godzilla bust, which I unboxed on this channel almost a year ago, and I can say with confidence that it is one of the most highly detailed, faithfully and passionately produced Godzilla collectibles of all time. Now it's time to see how Prime One translates a full-bodied figure, this time in vinyl, which has been the dominant material X Plus produces their excellent and long history of Godzilla collectibles in. Today I will unbox the new Prime One Studio Godzilla vinyl statue and compare and contrast to some of the best efforts from X Plus, NECA, SH Monster Arts, Spiral Studio, and Easy Hobby's Omega Beast line. I've always ordered directly from Prime One Studios due to their excellent customer service and loyalty program points. However, rising shipping costs have me rethinking ordering locally. This statue comes in a shipper the size of a tombstone and has a considerable amount of weight to it for being a vinyl figure. Prime One packages their statues very well. So far, I've never had any broken pieces. So I take care to handle their boxes mindfully to not tempt fate. Inside the shipper is the box itself, covered in full-color photography art and graphics. This is in direct contrast to the stenciled art found on most X Plus boxes. The box art and design reminds me of the amazing Prime One Gigantic Gamera 1999 vinyl statue. Besides the photography, they've included some stats including Godzilla's height, 393 feet, and underwater speed, between 40 and 50 knots. It goes a long way in the overall presentation. But if you're like me, these boxes go right back into the shipper and into a storage shed in case I ever have to move or if I ever decide to sell the piece later on. You never know how Prime One orients the pieces inside the box until you reach the inner carton where it indicates top or bottom. So it's usually a gamble which way you decide to tackle it. Just like nearly every gigantic release by X Plus, Prime One has decided to go with a styrofoam or polystyrene carton to protect the statue. I've never had an issue with an X Plus or a Prime One receiving shipping damage, so they must be doing it right, or I've been incredibly lucky over the years. The statue is nested securely in the center of the styrofoam cart, with the base just alongside it above the dorsal plates. Everything looks in order and undamaged. That old familiar smell of freshly minted vinyl is intoxicating to most collectors, and fans of that aroma will not be disappointed here. The base is heavy. Solid resin with lots of little small protruding details on the surface. Handle with care as some of these small parts could be chipped if handled carelessly. The Godzilla vinyl statue itself is deceptively heavy for its size. The legs and tail are either solid vinyl or filled with some sort of resin, polystone, or cement mixture. The underside of the base reveals the addition size. I have 131 of 300. Meanwhile, the surface of the base is a detailed destroyed city street with cracked pavement, building debris, wrecked cars, and all sorts of charred out chaotic aftermath. Very nice, very impressive. The bottoms of Godzilla's feet are even sculpted and show no signs of pegging or magnets to secure it to the base. The statue simply nests comfortably into place. There is a magnet located in the base of the tail, and the feet nest very securely into the footprints molded into the base. This figure isn't going anywhere and won't be easy to knock over from this base. Sturdy and super well balanced. 
The devastated city street contrasts well with the nuanced coloring of the Godzilla statue itself. The details are phenomenal. It gives the impression of Godzilla's torturous weight just crushing the pavement beneath his feet. And to say this is made of vinyl, which notoriously doesn't render crisp details as well as polystone resin, is a shock and is a testament to how well Prime One manufactures and handles its materials. Measuring in at 16.5 inches tall, 10.6 inches wide, 26.4 inches deep, and weighing in at 13 pounds 14 ounces, this vinyl statue will make a sizable impression in your collection, both in size and detail. Prime One has done a phenomenal job reproducing the intricate details of this newest iteration of Legendary's Godzilla. The level of craftsmanship is Hollywood maquette quality. The varying textures and weathering of the crocodilian skin wrapping around the heavy musculature. The detail of the bony deposits, the osteoderms, scales and plates acting as a natural armor all come together to sell the character of this Godzilla being an ancient beast of myth made flesh. It literally looks like it stepped right off the screen.
also the Prime 1 Ultimate Diorama Masterline Godzilla Vinyl Statue. At $699, how does it stack up against the comparably priced X Plus Gigantic Series 2019 Godzilla? Or the $1,100 Easy Hobby Alpha Kaiju Series Godzilla? Or the $750 Spiral Studio version that's on the horizon? There is certainly no shortage of options for all of your Godzilla collector needs. We are just days away from the X Plus Gigantic Kong and the Prime One Studio Ultimate Diorama Masterline Godzilla vs. Kong Final Battle Light Up Godzilla Statue. And beyond that, Prime One has released factory photos of the Gigantic Masterline Godzilla vs. Kong Heat Ray Godzilla, which will be the biggest Godzilla in my collection, dwarfing even the already huge Godzilla bust, also by Prime One. And of course, like, share, and subscribe to help me help you compare and contrast the pros and cons of the industry's best Godzilla collectibles in a fun, informative, and entertaining way. Thank you for your time, and I really appreciate you checking out the channel. Until next time, friends, be safe.